viewers, welcome you once again to this in our series. It's called uh, ATS Agronomic Series. Uh, we're still discussing tomatoes. We've been looking at tomatoes from uh, day one. So now, in the last in our series, we're going to discuss the reproductive stage, which is the flowering stage, as well as the fruiting stage. So my name is Afumbani, and with me, um, introduce yourself, sir. Uh, Moses Zulu. Okay, so we are both uh, expert agronomists for ATS Agrochemicals with a lot of years of experience in the field. Uh, so, Mr. Zuru, as we've been designing this uh, uh, tomato program for the farmers, now we're at that critical stage, the flowering stage. What should we have at the back of our minds as agronomists and what should the farmers look out for when they're at the reproductive stage of their crop? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, you know, that stage is um, a very critical stage, like what you've said, but it's very important that what is happening at that stage was actually decided by the plant way back. So, actually, it's actually very important that whatever we were doing before that is actually done properly. But at this stage, what is it that we can do? You know, I've got a plant in my hands here and I'm looking at these nice flowers. So, basically, we are talking about that stage where now you see your tomato now producing those flowers right okay. so at that stage uh, first of all crop nutrition is very important because at that point the plant needs to feed those flowers first of all it has to make sure that those flowers form fruit and then those fruits grow to the size and the quality that you need you know to take to the market so it's very important that your crop nutrition is right it's also very important that watering is right if anything at this point you need to increase the amount of water that you are putting down because that process of uh, you know the fruit development requires water uh, other than you know the nutrients that we talked about all right so obviously we know that you need your nitrogen throughout the growth period of your crop is there any particular element that is a key limiting factor at the stage of flowering so i would say uh yes so there is a product uh, there's um the, the first one is boron okay so boron will help you with uh, the pollination and the development of the pollen tube and the formation of the, the what you call the fruit set right so boron is key but your potassium also becomes very key at this point because potassium has got a lot to do with the fruit quality and has also a lot to do with uh, the yield maximization. But not to say that the other elements are not important, but those two are actually very key around that stage. Okay. So as ATS, we've got a product called Mobrox, which is uh, molybdenum and boron, plus your seaweed extract. So the seaweed extract, we're still maintaining the vegetative growth as well as the critical element, which is the boron at this stage. What about the potassium? Do we have any particular product that addresses the potassium, your concerns about potassium? So, yeah, we have a product called Rapid K. So Rapid K, basically, it contains uh, the phosphorus as well as the potassium. So the phosphorus is actually giving the energy to your plant. Because remember, at this stage, uh, what is happening is that now the plant will concentrate more on feeding the developing fruits and uh, it, the plant itself might become weaker. So you need that P to give that energy to the plant. And then uh, the, the second component in rapid care is actually your potassium that we have already talked about and what it's able to do in the plant. Okay, so what about pests? What pests should we be weary? What should we look out for? Insect pests especially. So insect pests, you, of course, your tuta absoluta will continue, uh, you know, being a problem at that stage. And it's very, very critical because after this, the next stage is that you, 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 act, you actually start getting the actual fruit. So if you get the tuta on the fruit, then the quality of your fruit, you know, drops significantly. So it's actually very important that you maintain your insecticide sprays, um, you know, and, and keep those fruits clean. But it's also very important at this stage that we do not relax. And if anything, we also need to intensify our fungicide sprays. Because like I said, at this stage, the plant is taking more of this energy to you know, support the developing fruit and the plant itself becomes more susceptible to diseases. So it's very, very important that uh, at this point we look at uh, you know, uh, making sure that the, the disease control is actually on point. We've got a product like, like um, Alexin that you can also spray at this stage and I would maybe ask that you can comment on that. Well, so before I just comment on Alexin, I also wanted to add in terms of insect pests that are critical at fruiting. So there's the boems. So the boems they usually make holes and they damage your fruit, which means it affects your quality. So now coming to what you've asked me. Mm -hmm. uh, so Alexin is a product that addresses your stress issues. So for farmers who are planting tomatoes now, and maybe it goes through the winter, you need Alexin at that stage 
to be in the crop. So alexin has got uh, succinic acid in it. And that's what normally happens when a crop is going through some sort of stress. It releases some salicylic acid in it. So we are supplementing that so that it does not have to create its own. And as a result, disturbing its, uh, its industry, its production of food production. So once we supplement it, when it undergoes through any stress, it's, it's well prepared, it's well equipped to undergo any, any sort of stress. Especially it can be drought stress. It can also be wrong herbicides that are spread uh, on, on, the, on the tomatoes and as well as the frost damage. Yeah, that's very true. Just to add on, uh, um, you know, what we've seen with uh, uh, this product called Alexin is that even when you have severe insect damage or severe, uh, you know, maybe disease attack, when you spray that uh, salicylic acid with Alexin, it actually helps the plant to recover and produce more uh, new, uh, new leaves and then it can continue growing. So what we encourage our farmers is that you can actually mix your Alexin plus the rapid care and you can spray that every two weeks. I think it also helps you when it comes to the frost damage, I think like you have already said. So during the cold season, like right now, I mean, we're going towards the cold season. If you're growing tomatoes, that uh, Alexin is a product that each and every farmer must have. And it must be sprayed a two liters a hectare at least every two weeks. It's compatible with most of your fungicides as well as your insecticide, which means you can actually put in one tank and then you'll be able to spray that. All right. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Also, the Alexin contains some calcium. You know that for tomatoes also, calcium is also quite a critical element. You may end up having issues like dorsal main drop. And also as ATS, we do carry a product which is specifically a calcium uh, uh, containing product called uh, Calcimax. Uh, so the farmers should reach out to all your ATS outlets throughout the country for some of the products. We've not actually mentioned all of them but some of the products that we've mentioned here plus many more so you reach out to your expert agronomist for ATS uh, in the outlets uh, throughout the country this is where we end our agronomy series on tomatoes we hope to see you as we go to another crop thank you <music>